am excited about this tip. It's gonna blow you away. So I have these items here and I want you to go grab your foil paper. By the way, it's a beautiful day to be alive. Okay, so I grabbed two of my favorite cutters, my favorite craft scissors, and some knives. We're gonna be sharpening our tools. I used to work for a catering company as a host, and sometimes I'd end up in the kitchen and catch some secrets. It's loud. <laughs> And so one day I saw the chef sharpening his knife, his chef's knife, with foil. And I asked him, he said, this is a really quick and easy way when we forget our sharpener to sharpen our knives. And so cut to a few years later, I decided one day, what if I use this on my cutters? And I tried it and let me tell you, it works. I have not replaced my blade in years, in like maybe four years. Corby, do you remember when you bought this for me, honey? I think two years ago. Yep, two years ago, my hubby surprised me with this. I already had this, the Fiskars, but he bought this for me. It came with a replaceable blade and I have yet to replace it. So let's get to sharpening. Go grab some foil, go grab your cutting tools, your scissors, and let's do this together. So, okay, so let me show you. So let's try to cut some paper and see what happens. Come closer. Let's see how this, ooh, see already, look at that. It's stuck, it's rigid, it's very, ooh. look at this. See, I haven't used this in a while, but you see that? So, okay, so we are going to sharpen this blade and you're gonna see the difference. You should see my husband's face. You should see my husband's face. He's acting like this is a magic trick. <laughs> uh, I am amazed. <laughs> you haven't even seen it yet, have I you? know, I'm, I am very interested to oh, see how this works. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it into your cutter as if it's paper. So let's, we wanna not waste the foil and you're just gonna hold down your blade. Don't embarrass me now, please don't embarrass me. Okay, you should start somewhere, not in the beginning so it doesn't crinkle. You're gonna start somewhere, there you go, see? And then you're gonna run it. Let's run it through again, right? Start it somewhere in the middle. There you go. Press down hard. Run it a few times. And let's do it one more time. Ooh, be careful not starting it towards the end. Run it. All right, so now let's see <laughs> what it does with our papers. You better not embarrass me. <laughs> Don't embarrass me. Okay, so we're gonna put it in. And we're going to do just like we did before. Start it from the beginning. Wow! Wow! You saw that? <laughs> it didn't embarrass me. You saw wow! That? <laughs> He's making fun of me, y'all. Oh my gosh. Look. Did you see that? You saw what it started off as. And you see the crisp cut? Now this is gonna last me for quite some time. This blade, I'm telling you, I'll probably never have to pop this blade off to replace it. So, what'd you think of that? I thought it was awesome. Yay? Yes. Now, let's test our blade. I forgot when, I forgot when I did this one. I love this one so much because it has, it has like the little, I call it the little guitar string. Look. Wait. Okay, so let's see. So let's cut some paper. All right, here we go. I don't know the last time I did this, but it feels rigid. Yeah, it feels rigid, y'all. You see that? You see that, hubby? Yes. Okay, look at that. It's rigid. I haven't used these in a while. You, you all have never seen me use these, and I've been on this 
channel for like seven months, going on seven months. So let's do our little thing. Let's do our little magic trick. Let's sharpen it. So remember, put it down like paper. This has a lock, so I'm just gonna lock it. And I'm gonna start it from the middle and I'm gonna push down. Even if it does that, that's okay. I'm gonna lift it a little and I'm gonna push it through. Let's do it again. So let's do that. It's still sharpening. You might get some resistance. It's okay. Don't let that scare you off. Just let it run through. Okay, let's see. Let's test this theory. Let's see. So, hmm? impressive. Really? Yes, impressive. Wow, he is smiling so big, y'all. So, okay. Also, you can do your scissors. So, let's see. Scissors aren't too bad. Since I do use them a lot, I tend to sharpen them a lot. So, with the scissors, what I like to do is I double it up, triple it up, so that I can get that maximum... And what I do is I cut strips. And you can do your sewing scissors, your paper scissors, and look at that. It's gonna cut like, woo, like butter. <laughs> so now I am going to do my X-Acto knives. So what I'm going to do is grab a piece. I'm actually going to do one knife because I only use one in particular, and it's this one. So I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to do that. Boom. Boom. It's sharpening it. And that's it. I didn't really need to, you know, I didn't need to test this because y'all see... You all see, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this trick, money saving trip. Trip? I wanna go on a trip. Me too. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this trick because it's gonna save you so much money Save your money, honey. You do not need any more blades. Just sharpen it with some good old foil paper. And yeah, there's plenty more where that came from. So if this is your first time watching this channel, please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're gonna try this. I hope you have a juicy, super amazing day. You are loved you matter, and please make your life a masterpiece. Until next time, bye! <laughs>